Hello, I'm Ray. And I'm Jenny, and we're Weber Family Reviews, and today we are reviewing our B games. Yeah, at some point I'll post the A1. We'll get that rolling. So, we learned something. We don't have a whole lot of B games. And apparently the ones I like are ginormous, and the ones she likes are tiny. And honestly, I probably wouldn't even pick them all. They're more kid games. So, it turns out I don't actually like B much. Well, that's fine. So, you know what? You start so that you can... Okay, this is a game we really enjoy with the kids, and that's Best Treehouse Ever. And it is fun, because there's, you yep. know, you're making your treehouse, and the rooms are really cool. You can have an ice cream shop and a board game room. Um, it takes a lot of table space, um, but it's quick and yep. it's easy. Uh, you can teach it in 30 seconds. It plays really quick. And as I said, the kids really enjoy it. We actually had this cabin for a while, brought it back home, because uh, we enjoyed it so much we wanted to be able to play it more, so... Best treehouse ever. So, basal ball highlights, 2045. I like deck building, and this one does it differently. You work through it, and basically you play teams, then you draft for your team. So you're going to trade out a person for somebody that you can bring in. And it's the standard deck building when you're buying the cards. But then you have to play the other person and try and get outs or hits or home runs. It works out great, and I wish I, I had some time to play this one a bit more. I, I like this one a lot. So, Baseball Highlights 2045 does kind of give you the feel of a, a baseball game. So It's cool because you get to build your team between games as well, so that's kind of cool. This is another kid one, and this is Boss Monster. And uh, our older son really likes to fight monsters and make dungeons. Be, be and, the monster. And yeah, he, he likes to be the bad guy. So this one works because you're trying to create, you know, a dungeon that's going to, you know, kill things and, you know, go through it. And we've got a bunch of the expansions. It's fun. It's silly. Again, this one also, though, takes a fair bit of table space to play. Um, but it's easy. It's quick. And the kids really enjoy it. Yep. This one's going to be fast. We don't have a ton of games. All right. Battle Lord. Second edition. So I like the setup and I like the way this one plays. I really do like the, the hidden setup and the way they create the scenarios. That's why I like this more than Memoir 44, even though they're the same system, you don't have the, the freedom. And it makes sense. Memoir 44 is set up to try and reenact some of the famous battles. So that has its own. But Battle Lore 2nd Edition is, is a B, uh, game that starts with B that I really do enjoy. There's a lot of, uh, of play. It is a... Um, two-person game and it is a two-person armies clashing game so she's not as big of a fan on this one but I like the way it works so Battle Lore second edition I would rather play that more but I would play that with you too yeah so okay this is one I actually really do like this is the builders and it comes th these we have two versions of the builders we have antiquity and middle ages they come in tins we have repurposed photo cases from Michaels um, and what's cool about this is antiquities. And what's really neat about antiquities is you can actually kind of level up your workers and yep. make them more powerful. But the base game is really simple. You're building different structures. You hire workers. You send them out. Um, and, you know, you're trying to get the most money. And it's a, you know, you have to finish buildings to get money, but you need money to pay for your workers. And so it's a really great, just real simple game, quick, easy to play, but you feel like you've got a lot of strategy and meat in it as you're trying to decide, mm -hmm. do I tackle that really big cathedral, um, or do I do a smaller one, you know, in the payout, hoping it gets done quick. You can even build tools that then don't cost anything to send out. So really fun. Um, components are pretty good. The cards are, are nice size. Yep. And uh, we have a lot of fun with both of them. If you want a little bit more strategy, though, antiquity, with yeah. the ability to pretty much, you know, pay for your workers to go to school. You can also, there's a whole thing of, you know, if you take a slave, then if you, you get negative points for that, but you can free them and then you get more points. So, you know, there's a lot more, I think, layers to antiquity if you're afraid the other one will be too simple for you. Yep. Enough said. All right, Blood Rage. Done. I like dudes on the map. This one does very well because I also like drafting. And you you may have noticed I just like games and all sorts of games in the uh, system. But this one, this is still my favorite of the trilogy. I played Rising Sun and Ankh. And Blood Rage is still up there. 
it works very smoothly. It tends to be a pretty quick game. I like Rising Sun a lot. I'd like to uh, play that more. I don't own it. But Blood Rage is still the top of mine, and it just works so smoothly. You even handle it. I don't smoothly. mind it. I just, that's, it's never going to be my type of game, so. Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, this one, uh, this is my type of game, though. This is Baron Park. I like um, it. You get to build your little park. Um, Tetris style. I love it because I like all that, you know, make, you know, make everything fit. I love, it's just fun. You've got the different kinds of bears and you're making them fit. And then this is when you cover a certain symbol, you get something else. So you can actually run out of stuff to have, or you can have extra depending on how you cover things up. Yeah. And so, um, it really, you know, focus, it makes you kind of think about where am I going to put stuff and the way you build it and the different sizes. And then there's goals. Um, you can take them out for a simpler game, but they don't add a ton to it. But there's goals. So like, okay, if I can get so many of this, I get more points mm -hmm. if I connect it this way. And it forces you, because as you add more areas to your park and you add up to four, um, you start with one, is, uh, you know, do I put them in a square? Do I make a long grid? Because that's also going to affect how I can lay out my tiles um, and then maybe reach the goals that are for the, you know, the group goals that you're trying to, to accomplish. So this is a really fun, light little building game. Um, I think the components are good. It's cute. But there's actually a fair bit of thought in this yep. game. So apparently bees are also, and we're skipping the thes. So apparently bees are the battle area. So battle of the five armies. I like this one flows quicker than War of the Ring, which makes sense. It's centered around the, the Battle of the Five Armies, so the last battle in The Hobbit. And there's card play and dice rolling, and it just works very smoothly. It's it's much smoother than the uh, War of the Ring, but not, doesn't lose any of the theme. And I have both, because War of the Ring is, is giant epic, but this one can be done in about an eh, hour and a half, and it just flows smoothly and it's fun it is a dudes on the map so again bees apparently are the battle area well and the one game that we don't have here because it's at the cabin is battle line yeah and that one is a really fun little it's just poker and you're going back and forth it's also shot and totten um but we've got a ton of play out of that game and as I said, it lives at the cabin now, but uh, we played it for years before it moved yeah. up there. So that kind of an honorary B, but we didn't have it to bring out. All right, so I have a remote now, so this, this helps out. All right, so that's the B games. This one was quick, but you know what? Some letters lend themselves to titles that we own the, more than others. I mean, I there's a, a lot thousand of Bs C's. that we got rid of. As we were looking through yeah. Board Game Geek, there was a lot of bees we used to own. And they're not all bad games. They just are games that we quit playing or that we decided we had something better to do. Um, not better to do, but a game that fit it better. Yep. So I did notice we had a lot of bees we've been through that we don't own anymore. Yep. So next time we'll bring the C's. And C, that's why I was bringing out the phone, has a rather large amount of C's. We we apparently like C. Okay, well we'll see you soon for C's. That was horrible. My kind of joke. Alright, bye. <laughs>